What is up, you beautiful people? Hope your day's been amazing so far. Let me know if it is. And if all that was missing was a Darth Vader video, well, I have some good news for you, my friends. It is here and it's here to stay. You see, not long after the Death Star was destroyed, Vader was sent by Sidious to the lava planet of Shutorun. Therefore, the Shutorun War started since the ore barons that basically owned the planet had been reassured secretly by Silo and and thought to be untouchable. I know it's very complicated and that's not why we are here to talk about. What we need to talk about though is Vader showing mercy. We covered Vader forgiving a couple of days ago but now I'll show you that at this particular moment Vader was also merciful. During this war Vader worked very closely with the twins Morit and Aeolin. Disciples of Silo who pretended to help Vader however secretly they were working to ambush Vader instead. Once their time came, they jumped at the chance, but Vader, well, he was always ready. He blocked them with his red blade and now the twins let out the secret. Vader was foolish to believe them. They were mistaken though, Vader was just testing their character. If he wanted them dead, they would have been gone a long time ago. Both their character and plot had failed. All that was left was for all three of them to battle it out and boy did the twins twins try. They were going hard at Vader while lava was bubbling down below. The bridge was narrow as well and the twins knew it. So as a backup plan, Aeolin shot a rocket from her wrist warning her brother to step back. The explosion cut the bridge in two with Vader and the twins on each side. She relented, finally, that they had no chance of beating Vader. And she doesn't think they will ever have the chance of beating the Sith Lord. But her brother had something different in mind. Yes, she won't beat Vader as he was slowly standing. He pushed his sister in the back as she fell down yelling out his name. It was done. The field thins, said Morit, until we meet again as he fled the scene. However, the screams were unbearable. Aeolin was burning alive down in the lava. Vader looked down at her with Pity. He remembered those burns long ago, those feelings as he burned away on Mustafar and now watching her burn the same way, even worse perhaps, she pleaded with Vader to save her. Still, after all he had suffered through and her screams for help, Vader turned around and started walking away. Yet Aeolin, burning alive, still pleaded to Vader with all of her might. Suddenly, Vader uses the force and pulls her charred body out of the lava. He couldn't handle the screams anymore. To protect from the flames, Vader covered her with his cape. Her pain was unbearable, but Vader told her that it will soon pass. Now she needed to tell him everything. While in horrible pain, Aeolin told Vader everything about Silo and how he was working secretly with the ore barons. She gave Vader her memory circuit to prove that. Lastly, she thanked Darth Vader for ending this pain as Vader ignited his lightsaber and ended her suffering right then and there. He didn't say much as was Vader like that. He turned around and proceeded but showing mercy to Aeolin by not letting her die slowly in the lava and ending her pain quickly shows that his memories were still fresh on what he had suffered decades ago on Mustafar. And you know, who could blame him honestly? It's still nice to see these glimpses of humanity in Vader's life later in his Sith career, but what do you guys think about this? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below and hit that bell to get notified the moment a new video is up. Have an awesome day my Star Wars friends and may the Force be with you always.